Alright, so next reaction is how to get a girlfriend, fly easy stuff, the hey are you single circ by Paul oh, Stews. <coughs> Ooh. Sorry. My main talent is. So I know there are a lot of single guys out there who hate being single for a very long time. As more as I do, I don't really hate being single for like a year. And even though I'm trying my best to get a girlfriend, it doesn't really work. So I'm not hate being rejected for, you know, all that, but um, yeah. And also, don't say I'm a fucking chef, okay, because, I don't know, there are a lot of people out there who do some pickup lines and stuff like that. Because that shit is fucking annoying, and um, nobody like who said about Sim, Sim this, Sim that, like, shut the sort of fuck up, man. This is serious, this is some serious about how to get a girlfriend. You know, starting a whole relationship and stuff like that. But, uh, you get the point. Where about now? We're gonna get to it in three, two, one, go. Gentlemen, this is Man Intelligence, and we've got one question to ask. Hey, are you single? If so, you're not gonna want to miss this episode. We're gonna explain the power in that one simple question and leverage it to get phone numbers and dates easier than unfollowing accounts who post spoilers. There's probably a century's worth of content on YouTube teaching guys how to get a girlfriend, but in just over minutes, we're going to show you how to put your best foot forward and give you some hashtag motivation, teaching you how to flirt like a pro and how to get a girl to like you with tips so easy, even the most inexperienced, introverted, and apprehensive guys can master them with a little practice. So forget about pickup lines and quit stressing about finding the right words. Hey, are you single? It really is as easy as that. Number five, the importance of intros. Walking up to a stranger and asking, hey, are you single? Is the dating technique known as the cold approach, meaning you haven't warmed up with small talk or eased into the question after testing the waters. No dipping a toe in the water of this dating pool. You're diving right in. But the problem with diving right in is you never know when something beneath the surface is going to crack you right in the face. That's why even though we want you to get quickly to the point that you're making plans to see her again, we recommend that you begin by at least introducing yourself first. It shows common courtesy. It builds familiarity, and it makes you seem more like a man approaching a woman than a boy hitting on a chick. That's right, fellas, dating's all about meeting people, and you don't need an excuse to go up and talk to someone you're crushing on. The crush is all the reason you need. Just start with a quick introduction. It can seem intimidating, but like ripping off a Band-Aid and getting right to it will make asking her out that much easier. You know what? Let's go to the footage. Excuse me, hi, I'm Beardy. Hi, it's nice to meet you. I was really hoping you'd say that. I just had to meet you. Hey, are you single? Yes, I am. Happily. Thanks for asking. Congratulations for that. We should get drinks to celebrate the fact that we're, you know, we're both single. <laughs> you mean like a date? No, not a date. Just a party too at a restaurant of your choice. Well, it is something worth celebrating. Perfect. What's your number? Let's make this happen. See, gentlemen, a quick introduction is all you need to cut off the stress of inventing a reason to meet somebody and get right to asking her out. Plus, girls find your ability to come out and say what you want incredibly attractive. That's right, working on your cold approach can improve your communication skills and help you learn how to make any girl fall in love with you. Number four, smooth it out. Jumping right in can be a little jarring. So to help smooth things out and make a girl crazy for you just moments after meeting her, be quick with your compliments. Everybody appreciates a little bit of flattery and a sincere, well-timed compliment is a classic flirting technique that bridges the gap from, hey, are you single? To, great, I'll call you later. Hey guys, rather than giving a generic compliment, I like to explain why I couldn't resist talking to her. Something like, you're so beautiful, I couldn't forgive myself if I didn't at least ask. Or, your smile caught my eye from across the room and I just had to see it again. It makes your compliment more personal and convinces her that a date with you is something she should definitely say yes to. Number three, keep it light. The key to success with the hey, are you single strategy is keeping your approach lighthearted. The best way to get a girl to agree to a date with you is to show her that going out with you will be fun. And while you could come prepared with a presentation of a date you have planned and ready to go, it's much easier to convince her by keeping your approach light and your attitude positive. Make fun of the awkwardness of the first meeting. Use her replies to build a flirty banter. And above all, remember to smile. Your body language is another useful tool in asking a girl out. And alpha male body language tricks 
like standing tall, maintaining eye contact, and keeping an open posture give the impression that you're an open, confident, likable person and help you look like your best, most attractive self. For all our tips on carrying yourself like a confident alpha, click the link here. All right, guys, let us know how you feel about the hey, are you single approach in the comments below. But hopefully by now, you're convinced it's something you can totally handle. We still have two more tips to help you use this technique to meet awesome women. But at the end of the video, we're also going to show you the one thing you definitely shouldn't do when using the cold approach to help you feel more confident, have more fun dating, and end up meeting the girl of your dreams. So be sure to stay tuned until the end of the video. All right, let's wrap up these last two items on our list. Number two, go all in. One of the great things about approaching women in this way is that since you're being being open about what you're looking for, you're also free to go all in with your real personality, to be true to yourself without faking your way through a conversation and get right down to finding a spark. The purpose of asking, hey, are you single, is quickly finding a connection with someone. And letting your individuality show is a great way to either get a girl to instantly like you or quickly realize your time is better spent somewhere else. That's right, fellas. My personality is a mix of friendliness, intelligence, and goofiness. And I try to let that show as much as I can when I talk to a girl I'm interested in. I may jokes, but I make sure she's not the butt of those jokes, and I look for a connection on an intellectual level. When I go all in and act like my real self, I can use how she responds to gauge whether or not she's someone I'd actually like to date, and the confidence I have knowing that being myself makes it much easier to walk right up to someone and think of things to say. Just check out this interaction I totally had the other day. Hey, my name's Beardy. How are you? Hey, I'm good, thanks. I'm Sasha. Sasha, uh, are you single? Hmm, sort of. <laughs> Sort of. What does that mean? Well, I don't normally share such personal information with strangers. Okay, well, a little about me. I'm Beardy. My height depends on the screen this guy's watching on, and I was peacefully going about my life as an animated mascot for a YouTube channel before I saw you, and I had to come over. Wow, I feel like I've known you my whole life. Well, you know, sometimes you just click with people. If you were in my shoes, that conversation might have gone differently, but you're not. You're in your shoes, and you have to keep walking your walk. In fact, I don't even think I have shoes. Number one, improvise. Our last tip to make, hey, are you single work, is to help you flirt easily and find a connection is improvisation. When you leave with such a loaded question, you never know where that conversation will go, and being able to think on your feet is key to getting a first date. The good news is, if improvisation isn't your strong suit, it's something you can improve on with a little bit of effort. Practice striking up conversations with people at the grocery store or at work, and start paying attention to dialogue in books, TV and in movies. Spend time with your friends that are easy to talk to and figure out how they do it. There are opportunities to get better at conversation and improvisation everywhere you look. Working on those skills can have a huge positive impact in many ways. Not only will it make this first interaction easier, it will help you turn into a person who has rich, interesting conversations. One of the habits women love most. The number one thing not to do in cold approaches. So you've just seen two examples of times I've asked a girl, hey, are you single? And ended up getting a date. But for each one of those, based on real life experiences, there was another time I was real life rejected. And even though it's done, if I had let those rejections get to me, I never would have the courage to meet some of the awesome girls I've gone out with over the years. Here's how I look at it. I'm not attracted to every girl I see. And I know there are a lot of people who wouldn't like to go out with me. There's nothing wrong with those women. They're just not right for me. It only makes sense that it works the same way for girls. Sometimes I'm not what they're looking for and sometimes it just isn't in the cards. So don't let rejections shake your confidence. Keep your mindset. Start looking at those rejections as ways of weeding out bad matches, not as signs that you're a loser. Sure, it still hurts when someone you're interested in doesn't feel the same way about you. But part of figuring out how to get a girlfriend is figuring out how you're not going to be a perfect match for everyone, but you will be a perfect match for someone. Those are the five tips to use Hey Are You Single to help you meet women and the number one thing to avoid in cold approaches. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to let us know and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click and subscribe. And while you're here, why not check out these other powerful videos? Gentlemen. Oh, oh my bad. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I was a loser. Even though there's a lot of rejections out there, I don't know, but. I will try my best to do that, but I don't know if it's going to be working, but, but there's a lot of how to get a girlfriend uh, videos on there, so I'll probably check it out next time, but uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.